Paul says, I beg you, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. I want you to live for me. But a sacrifice lays down willingly. Lays down willingly. So it means it's a choice that I'm going to have to make daily, maybe even hourly, and maybe sometimes moment by moment. Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. God says, this is just reasonable for you to do. It's reasonable. Why? Because I gave my life as a sacrifice for you. It's reasonable. It's reasonable for me ex to expect my wife not to cheat on me. Because I'm not cheating on her. If I was cheating on her, it would be unreasonable for me to expect her to be faithful to me. Right? Oh, I can be with whoever I want, but you can't. <laughs> it's unreasonable. It's, it's not, there's no logic. But if I'm going to be faithful to her, I'm going to hold her accountable. You better not. Don't you dare. Don't even think about it. Don't even go there. Uh, you have no right. None. Zero. Zilch. And I feel totally confident saying it. And God says, I gave my only son for you. And he's very confident and saying, you should give your life back to me. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. He says, don't become like the world. Focus your mind on me. Let your mind be transformed that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think. You know who doesn't make themselves a sacrifice? Somebody that thinks they're better than what they're sacrificing for. Or the thing they're sacrificing for. If this building were on fire, and it was a raging fire, and all of a sudden you saw me burst in, you saw me run from the outside and people are saying, stop. And you saw me running in. You'd probably go, there's a person in there. There's a person. He's going in for a person. And you might, they might say it's unwise. They might say it's crazy. But everybody would get it, right? There's a person. He's going in for a person. And all of a sudden, I came out. And I had this chair in my hands. I, I got it. I, you'd be like, you all right? Be like, yeah, I'm totally fine. I bought that chair. I, I gave money to the special chair offering we did three years ago. I, I bought 10 chairs and I wanted to save them all, but I, at least I got one. You'd be like, that dude really ain't in his right mind. Be like, no, I assure you. What? I, would, would I go in for the chair? No way! Because I'm not going to sacrifice my life for something that's not as valuable as me. <laughs> It's a chair. Who cares? It's replaceable. It doesn't matter. But a person? One of my own children? There's going to have to be some people that are going to have to tackle me and pin me down while I kick and scream and bite and scratch and do everything I can to get in that building because I'm going in. Why? Because I'm willing to be a sacrifice that's for something great. And God said, you were so great. I loved you so much. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He said, that's how valuable you were to me. And now he says, would you view me in that same light? Would you view me the same way I viewed you? To be a sacrifice 